Today we're going to be looking at how to convert meters into kilometers. For question number one, we're being asked to convert 5,000 meters into kilometers. Up top here, we can see our conversion and 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. So when we're converting meters into kilometers, we're going to divide the value of our meters by 1,000 in order to convert those meters into kilometers. So for question number one, we have 5,000 meters and we're going to divide those 5,000 meters by 1,000. Or another way to think about this is how many equal groups of 1,000 can we make out of 5,000? Well, we can make five equal groups of 1,000 out of 5,000. So when we convert 5,000 meters into kilometers, we get five kilometers. Now moving on to question number two, this time we're being asked to convert 11,600 meters into kilometers. This one isn't going to be quite so straightforward, but there is a little trick that's going to help us. Let's return to question number one, where we started out with 5,000 meters. Now, anytime that you have a whole number, there is a decimal to the right of the whole number. We typically don't write it though. Here's where a little trick comes in. So anytime that you divide a number by 1,000, we can accomplish this by simply shifting our decimal place three places to the left. So for 5,000, we're going to shift the decimal place once, twice, and three times to divide 5,000 by 1,000, giving us the whole number of 5, because we don't need to write the zeros to the right of the decimal place. So now let's give this a try for question number 2, where we have 11,600. We have a decimal place to the far right, and then we're going to divide this number by shifting the decimal place three places to the left, giving us the decimal of 11 and 6 tenths because we don't have to include those zeros there. So when we convert 11,600 meters into kilometers, we get 11 and 6 tenths of a kilometer. Hopefully by now you understand how to convert meters into kilometers. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.